Hey, how you doing? You can't see my face, but you can hear my voice. My name is Blake, and what I do is I go around to thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, places like that, buy cool stuff I can resell online, and that's how I pay the bills. So we're in the electronics section of a thrift store. First thing I see is this down here, these big receivers. That's too heavy. They are sometimes worthwhile, but not in this case. Then I see a 3D Blu-ray player from Samsung. This should go for about 80 or 90 bucks. I paid 10 in the store. I also saw a Denon 5-disc changer. That's a pretty decent brand, but it has a sticker on there. Previously tested by a different thrift store. I think it might not work. I think it may be a re-donation, so I left it on the shelf. I go over here. I found a really cool vintage computer, a Timex Sinclair 1000. Uh, that was a few videos ago. Check that out if you want to watch that but nothing else. This Westinghouse, I thought it may have been like some sort of radar, but it's a, a, a timing plug. Every once in a while, I can get kind of lucky with a vintage Sony alarm clock. This is a Sony ICFC 770 two-band alarm clock. It folds up, it folds down. If this was on Amazon, I probably would have bought to sell. I can sell Sony on Amazon and make about 30 or 40 bucks on these old clocks, but it wasn't. The listing had been taken down recently. It could only be sold on eBay, Etsy, or Mercari. And on those platforms, it goes for about 15, 20 bucks. That's not bad, but just not worth buying in my opinion. I thought this may be a multi-camera security system, but I was wrong. It was just some basic lights in a system like that. Those cameras though, they're good to sell. I found a bag of 100 Eiffel Tower pendants. No precious metals, just a basic bronze type looking pendant, but there are 100 in here. They say greeting litter or litter greeting on the front. I don't know what that means. Five bucks for a hundred. There's another bag right here. It was opened up. I did buy that one bag of a hundred. The Eiffel Tower is an iconic piece of architecture. Great keyword. So what I'll do is I'll sell them. I'll do a quantity listing. So a hundred listed on one listing. It'll take me five minutes to make and I'll sell them for like two bucks plus shipping. Not a lot of money per item, but in the long run, I should make over $100 profit. This was probably my second favorite find of the thrift trip. Only $5. What caught my eye was this beautiful wood picture frame. I don't know what wood it is. I'm not an expert. I believe it's maple. It might be cherry. If you know, please, please, please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. The photographer, uh, his name is Dennis Barloga or Borlaga. Uh, it's from Bruges in Belgium, and it was professionally framed in Brighton, Michigan. A really beautiful piece of art. I will sell it for a hundred bucks on eBay. It's one out of 300, well, it's 194 out of 300, but very rare, very beautiful, and in great condition. I loved finding this. I thought this next thing was really cool too. Sometimes you find art, sometimes you find adult portion control plates. I have actually sold these exact same plates before. I get about 20 bucks per plate, sometimes 15. There's four of them here, two bucks a piece. I'll sell them for 60 bucks, free shipping. Something like this might not seem valuable to you, but to the right person, they will definitely pay up for it. BPA free, light to ship, not gonna chip in shipping. I love it. I saw this right here. What's the difference between this and that? Well, this thing, that'll chip very easily. Those BPA free plastic plates, they are gonna go in a poly bag and be fine. I've had a great run finding Starbucks cups, tumblers, or mugs here. If you wanna watch my last video about how to ID them, it uploaded yesterday. This is a Starbucks mug, a chiseled front with a gold dome. Goes for about 25 or 35 bucks. No straw, but very clean. Uh, and people love to collect these. I also saw a very cool Brita filter. That's a, a water filter in there, not a, uh, a water infuser, but a water filter. Has a cool like MCM, that's mid-century modern Pyrex design, but it's only worth about 10 bucks, so I put it back on the shelf. I even found a second Starbucks tumbler. I think one of the workers might've hit it back there. This goes for about 17, 25 bucks, bought that too. Over to the second thrift store, this is a Goodwill. I saw a huge sealed DVD cache. Someone must have donated all their sealed DVDs. I went through and scanned them all. I will sell almost all of these on Amazon using Amazon FBA. My rule is if the sales rank is below 80,000, I will do FBA. Above 80,000 for DVDs specifically, I will merchant fulfill. I've got about 300 merchant fulfilled DVDs in my warehouse and about 500 FBA at any given time. I do a lot of Dollar Tree DVDs, a lot of used 
thrift store DVDs, but if I can find new DVDs at thrift stores, that almost always means I hit a gold mine. I should make easily over 200 bucks in all these DVDs. Here's a cool find for the vintage book lovers. It was Go East, Young Man, the autobiography of William O. Douglas. It's the first edition first printing. I thought it may be autographed. Uh, I'll open it up. There's someone's name in there. I'm not sure whose name it is. This book, if it was signed, would go for 300 bucks. In this condition, I should get about 50 bucks for it. Uh, some go for 30, some go for more, but I think that this $2 flip into 50 bucks, that is A-OK -okay with me. The Goodwills around here scan most of the books for Amazon, but what they don't do is they can't catch the old first editions because that just takes a bit more knowledge. So I always make sure I scan the shelves for any old books, like this one right here, 13 Days by Robert F. Kennedy. Not the first edition, but if it was, that would have been a great find. All right, here's what I got. This is the uh, DVDs over there. Two books, I saw that one, and then here's the Harry Potter first edition. Probably about 15, 20 bucks on there if I hold out for the right buyer. And then here's my long shot that I think will probably sell. Um, so there's no comps on this, but this stuff that looks like this, I have noticed sells very well. So the, the brand, Daniel De La Cruz, that has sold uh, generally it's around 25 bucks. But I think this specific style or design, uh, I can price it 60 bucks and probably sell, I mean, I assume by summer. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Two thrift stores, gotta go back to the warehouse now, list some Joe Burrow rookie cards before the Super Bowl in two weeks, and uh, list the other stuff I bought. The woman's body picture, I think that'll do, you know, that's the kind of thing where you just have to go off previous experience. Um, still trying to ID this picture frame right here. I think it's uh, I think it's maple, but I don't really know. It's it's a, a lot orangier in the light than it is. Uh, I'm looking at it. Um, handmade in Michigan in uh, 1990. This photograph is of of a Brussels, Belgium. I found it on a few websites. Apparently, it's been shared on Pinterest quite a lot. That same picture. Uh, the photographer has a following. It's 194 to 300 print. So uh, I think I will price that probably at 100 bucks. But, um, you know, really it's kind of a crapshoot. If someone likes it, they'll pay it. If not, uh, it, it certainly would help. It's kind of small. But if I can figure out what kind of uh, wood that is, and if you know, I would love to hear your uh, opinion in the comments below. Well, then uh, I'd be in a lot better position. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up, uh, subscribe. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot one more thing. The secret word, or secret message rather, for today is the letter A. Write down the letter A. Or for that matter, write down all of the secret messages for the past uh, you know, six videos. See you later.